Hey guys, this is Craig Migliaccio with AC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is leak checking the valve cores or the Schrader valves at the ports after you disconnect the refrigerant hoses when checking a refrigerant charge. So this is a big deal. If you don't do this, you can actually leak out the refrigerant out of this system just if you don't check the, the valve cores at the ports. So right here I have a little valve core. It's very small, and this is what's stopping the refrigerant from coming out of this system on these types of service valves. So it's very crucial that you're checking the port right here and here to see if it's leaking after you're disconnecting. And just so you know, I have a full disconnect procedure of a refrigerant gauge set linked down in the description section below. If the system is running and you check the refrigerant charge, you don't wanna steal refrigerant out of this system because this whole red line is gonna fill up with liquid. So if you just keep checking the refrigerant charge and disconnecting, you're gonna be stealing refrigerant out of the systems and you don't wanna do that. So I have that video linked down in the description section below, but in this video, I wanna show you a solution to leak checking the, the valve core. So we do that with a bubble leak detector, but you don't wanna get bubble leak detector into the port and onto the, the valve core. If you do, we usually just blow that out and try to get it all out, but there's gonna be a little bit remaining. So that was one idea. In some of my videos, you've seen me use the valve core removal tool. And basically this is just a open tube right now. If you take the back out, and so you screw this end onto the port and then you put bubble leak detector in the end, but this is a rather large opening. So I've come up with a solution to this that you're really gonna like. And uh, so I'm gonna take you in for a close up image of this and I'll show you. You see that there is a fitting right here on the end of the hose and that's there to lock the refrigerant in the hose when we disconnect from the port. So you need to have something here. So either a automatic low loss fitting such as this and here's a fitting that you can add to the end of your hose just like this. You can also have it built into your hose or you can have a manual low loss fitting such as this. So one with a valve or you can have a valve core depressor tool and this one has a back seat. So when you screw it counterclockwise all the way up, it's going to lock the refrigerant at your port right here. So that's how that would get connected, just like that. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect this and we're going to leak check our port. A lot of times people are taking the bubble leak detector and they're putting it right on the end of the port and that certainly will find the leak. But the issue with that is you're not gonna be able to blow out all the bubble leak detector out of the inside of the port, even if you are doing a good job with it. There's still gonna be some remaining. Another solution is putting the valve core removal tool onto the end, and basically what's gonna happen is this is a tube, and this will work, even though there is a larger opening on the end. And you just monitor this and see if you have any, any bubbles getting blown so this is gonna take a little bit because there is a little leak on here. So you're gonna monitor that end right there. You can see it's starting to blow a little small bubble, but that makes this other little tool I made very, very nice. So the other tool is just literally a cap. So, I mean, it's very simple. I tried a couple different versions of this. One being that we have a tube right here soldered in the end. And then I also did one with this. And so basically I broke off the tabs and I drilled a hole in the end. So you can see the end right there and I took the rubber washer out just for now, or the rubber gasket. But really, through all my testing, this is the cheapest, simplest, fastest, and actually the best results. Because this right here, you have a large flat surface area for a large bubble to be blown. So it's something that you guys can do on your own. And maybe you just put this as a different color so you don't leave this on a on a port when you're done. Obviously, if it's a outdoor location somewhere, so we're putting locking caps on now, so we're, we're using a tool and putting our, our locking caps on. But here you see that we are blowing a bubble on the end of this right here. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like with the, the other cap. So it's a very, very small leak, and you can see that that little tiny bubble is starting to grow. So this is gonna allow you to see the leak faster, and it's going to allow the bubble leak detector not to fall out of a hole 
on this one, depending on how the, the pour is faced, so if it's faced downwards or faced upwards like this a little bit, or just horizontal, sometimes you can't see if the bubble leak detector popped on the inside of the tube. Of course, you could even use a smaller tube than this, but this seems to work very, very well. So it's just very simple. So you see that the bubble is forming right here and you can see it is a, a small leak. So there's no bubble leak detector in the end of this port right here. So with a leaky valve core, we can just take our valve core removal tool and we can tighten it with this part, or we can replace the, the valve core with the valve core removal tool. Even if this system has refrigerant in it, we don't have to recover the refrigerant out when tightening up on that valve core. There's also a valve core torque wrench as well that you can tighten it down to the specified torque value. And so then you won't accidentally break the valve core or you won't uh, de-thread it or anything like that. So, so that's another possibility as well. So in this case, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and snug it down and we're gonna check it again. And then after that, we're gonna put our locking cap on. I wanna take this opportunity to let you know that we have our book out, The Refrigerant Charging and Service Procedures for Air Conditioning. So we have it as a paperback and ebook, and they're both available over at our website at acservicetech.com. You can also check out what it's all about over at acservicetech.com because we have the full outline there. So it's, it's posted, you can read up and just see all the different details about it. And we have there our paperback available over at amazon.com. So what this is about is the refrigeration cycle and, and learning how to check the refrigerant charge and do the troubleshooting of systems that are running. We also go over the preparation steps for an empty system. So we're talking about the pressure testing, the vacuum procedure and breaking the vacuum with refrigerant from the bottle and from the system, going over the components and what they do. So we're going over a lot of different details and this book contains all the different details that I really want you to know. So check out our book and hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.